Hi Aquarius, this is your reading for the week of the 23rd of November. Angel Spirit Guides, what would you like Aquarius to know? What would you like Aquarius to know about this week of the 23rd? What would you like Aquarius to know about this week of the 23rd of November? Angel Spirit Guides, Universe, what would you like Aquarius to know? What would you like Aquarius to know about this week of the 23rd of November? The week of the 23rd of November. There's a lot of cards coming out here, Aquarius. Okay. Justice, page of Oh, bottom of the deck, we have the nine of cups. Okay, so there is a wish, a desired wish coming true. Um. This can be a divine union. It's a hopeful wish. It's the yes card. So you've got justice with the page of cups. So there could be something legal happening. There could be something where you've just gotten a tax rebate or something like that. And you're no longer a pawn in the game. But something's leveled up. The truth has been told. You could be dealing with a Libra. Um, and it's, you, you're being given this time out uh, to look after yourself, to get healthy. Or to look after children or... It's just drink lots of water. Um, you've got the fall here as well, which indicates children. So there could be lots to do with new beginnings, um, leap of faith, uh, bit, um, just talking to friends at the coffee bar. You know, it's like you know what to do already. You don't need to talk to anyone about it. You're going to leave a situation or walk away to a new path because you've you've done enough for for other people or a loved one. Um, there's going to be a few struggles this week where people are trying to push you off your path. You're trying to get to your destination. You can't get there. You lose the keys, something else, something else. And it can be a bit overwhelming, but you'll, you've got the courage to literally and the strength to overcome whatever's going on. It's just one last push because there's a new beginning in love happening. There's something towards the home. It's the feeling. It's, um, it's an innocent love. There's something with the heart um, expression, a, a feeling, um, seven of wands is, um, very passionate battle of wills going on. Um, but you're standing your ground on something because you can't make up your mind yet. It's very confusing. Um, someone could be in and out. You don't know what to do. It's, it's like something's hurt you a lot from the past and you need to look at these two cups standing that what you've got in front of you. Um, it's like you're walking away from, from, you don't want the, you don't want the victory anymore, but you do want the, the love, the feeling, the first feeling, the, it's like you've, you've, Everybody wants what you've got. But you're confused, you're indecisive about something. And it's almost like you've got to go with your instincts here. You've got an angel coming through in your dreams. Listen to your dreams, put the pen by the bed. Um, and she holds the secrets. It's like, you already know, your gut's telling you something. And I've got the tower here, so something could hit out of the blue within the home. It could um, come as a premonition. Uh, you could be going to a tower reader, it's a psychic thing, but there's something towards coming out of the blue. Like a secret comes out of the blue, something you've dreamt about happens, or there's something... to do with your sixth sense, to do with your crown chakra, to do with the house. See that five of cups, if, if you delay responsibility, it's like avoidance and delay of responsibility when a choice needs to be made. So you need to stand in a now and it's like, it's now. Um, you've got to go with what you're feeling, your gut, um, you're holding up your boundary. You've worked too hard to get here. People want what your job or what you've got. And it's like, I need to concentrate on what's right in front of me. There is love still here. There's a high priestess here. Your gut is telling you. Um, it's 
something, there's a tower moment up here. Your gut's telling you something. You must go with the instincts. It's, it's, it's almost like forearmed is forewarned. There's justice. There's something legal that's giving you time off to concentrate on your health, to start afresh, uh, be playful, talk to friends, but you don't need to be gossiping around people. You already know what to do. You want to walk away from giving too much in love and concentrate on getting this fleece out of the dragon's mouth, even though it's a struggle. So you're plucking up the courage to get out of your confine, to fight some kind of Leo or ego or things that you would be scared of, to start something fresh, but not let down your boundary. This may cause a lot of jealousy. What you're doing is causing a lot of jealousy, but your instincts are telling you you're doing the right thing, even though when the tower hits, you've got angelic protection. Your, your, whatever you do, your instincts told you to do, when this tower hits, it's like, I've got this. having the courage to get out of your confinement a new feeling of love you're battling and saying i've worked hard to get here i'm not backing down i'm jealous or they're jealous i keep running in and out i don't know where how where i stand i've got to concentrate on the here and now there's a decision needs to be made um, and i'm going to go with my gut and maybe leave home or move rooms or Listen to my higher self. You're having a spiritual awakening. Angels, spirit guides, what would you like Aquarius to know? What would you like Aquarius to know about this week? It's like if you don't say something, the tower will hit. It's like I want to say it, I want to say it. And if you don't say it, if you keep the secret too long, it's going to come out anyway. Very soon. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. Angel, spirit guide, universe, what would you like? You could be dealing with Libra, Aries, Pisces, Scorpio, Leo. Angel, spirit guides, what would you like? Aquarius, snow about the week of the 23rd of November, please. 23rd of November. Love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Stand your ground. Hold that boundary. Don't allow someone to come in and confuse you. Your gut is on point. Um, there's something to do with a home. Maybe someone's leaving home. Their home's broken. Or something comes to the house which you was you knew. It's like your sixth sense told you. That's why you held your boundary. Flirt. Extend your light-hearted energy to others. Angels, spirit guides, what would you like? Curious to know. Romantic feelings, your feelings are real and worth exploring. Soulmate, yes, this is your soulmate. Love yourself first and flirt. Extend your light-hearted energy to others. Your feelings are real. And yes, this is your soulmate. Very soon, clearly decide what you want till it comes to you now. Something's true, something's fair. Someone's got children. There's discussions over it. You're leaving... To, to go to a new path where people, it might be a little bit of a struggle, that's what I'm saying, it, but to leave it's a bit of a struggle, it's like someone's making it very hard, um, but you do get the strength to start something new, get in a new home, put up your boundaries and have that strength and say I'm not backing down because you make me jealous and confused, my instincts are on point, even if this tower moment hits, I'm ready. Angels, spirit guides, what would you like? Remember that wish comes true. Angels with a nine of cups. Angels, spirit guides, what would you like? See, the more self-respect, the more health, the things you do for yourself, the more playful you are, the flirtier you are. It's like people start talking about it and you just walk away. And someone might have these romantic feelings for you, but it's too much, it's a struggle. Um... But you have the courage to do it. And then they offer this new love. And you're like, well, what about these cups, these five of cups, where you run in and out and I don't know where you are and what you're doing and I get jealous and everything. And um, my gut's telling me that there's something's going to be broken anyway. 
but I think this might be someone leaving home for you or leaving they're coming very soon angel spirit guides that it's like the tower is a wish come true but your instincts told you what was going to happen and you holding up your boundary and flirting with other people probably was the best thing to do angel spirit guides can we have some cards for Aquarius for this week and for Aquarius please Aquarius 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 joy Joy is the highest energy of all. It's the magical sense that everything is possible. Joy springs from appreciating the gifts within each moment. Yeah, look at what you've got now. It's like you've got to appreciate it. Joy allows you to attract and create your present and future moments in the highest possible levels. Angels, spirit guides. What would you like Aquarius to know? I am leading you toward the answer to your prayers. Please listen to and follow the steps I'm got communicating through your intuition thoughts and dreams please put a pen by the bed write it down put it in your notes on your phone you're being led somewhere someone's giving you the heads up you might be able to see this tower coming and the fact that you held your stance here puts you in a less it's like and appreciate what you've got gets you that that wish come true Angel, spirit guide, what would you like Aquarius to know? Aquarius, what would you like Aquarius to know? Listen to your gut, Aquarius. Caution is warranted. Look deeper into the situation before proceeding further. It's a good time to give birth to new ideas and situations in life. I'm watching over you, guiding you and protecting you during these changes. See, you've got angelic assistance. There's something you're holding your boundary for because you, you, you're not quite sure of it. But your gut is telling you this tower could hit. It's almost like you, you're you strengthening yourself up for it. You're walking away from doing too much for other people so that you can concentrate on your health, concentrate on, on new beginnings, on children. Maybe you're pregnant and there's things you've got to do um, that make things joyful. And appreciate, appreciating every moment. Um, it's like this whole week, you're, you know what to do. When I sit at Four of Cups, this is talking to people saying, what if, what should I do? What should I do this? Should I do this? It's friends around a coffee shop. And it's like just boredom because you just want to talk about something. You already know that the situation, there's something you need to walk away from so that you can... Um, stop people from pushing you off your path and have the courage and get strong fight the ego so that you can have this new love this new home there's a battle of wills people are very jealous of what you're doing but you know that you're doing the right thing because it's almost like you're you could be moving house i don't know but it does say caution give birth to new ideas Listen to your dreams and be joyful in every moment. Like, create the next stage. It's joy and joy and joy. Um, there is a wish coming true this week. There's a union. Take care. Um, you, as you walk away, you get to this eight, nine of cups. It might not be till right at the end of the week. But this wish comes about. It's like a, even if it's a tower, I just feel that you swerve it. It's a good tower. Take care, um, Aquarius. I hope I've helped you and I'll speak to you soon. Bye-bye.